way the it was stage was averaging 120, wouldn't he? You couldn't yeah. miss. Nope. Well, we will see. Gary at his best, of course. One of those who can match Michael Van Gerwen, but incapacitated is it too much to ask great start by van Gogh. as you said john they, they played this is their 17th meeting it's only 9-7 to to michael so that just backs up your point but for me that that's a full healthy anderson that's you know not playing with a, a severe injury to his back but he's yeah. loving these going back to these darts the the nine dart in 2012 with he said in practice they're feeling good. Well, those who are listening this afternoon and watching would have heard me saying that yesterday it was hurting Gary so badly that I, I made some sort of merry little quip when I was chatting to him, and it hurt him just to laugh. Yeah. Never mind throw a dart. They say he's having to hold his breath when he throws to make sure that there's no movement that will jolt the shoulder. Double 18 for a 12. 76. Anderson way back on 261. The problem with playing Mike Hoy is going to make you force everything. Van Gogh in double nine for the opening leg. Very good. Leg. So the 13 Darton. Sure is. Smooth as smooth you like. Continuing where he left off against James Wade, who I thought, even though he took a bit of a hiding, threw very well at times. He looks in a, in a much better place than he did. Just a month ago. 96. Hard work on the practice board paying off. Uh, he'd probably be saying, well, didn't do much good, did it, when he's gone well, behind. Matter. But I mean, you're looking, you're looking at the style of the his big, throw, aren't yeah, you? The, the, way the, the way he's actually performing overall. Yeah, the big picture. The throw looks Three good, seven. the rhythm, uh, the timing of release. He hit a few 180s. He finished with 97 and change average himself, so he didn't throw horrifically. Seen averages of a lot less than get through, so... Gary was wanging in the 180s earlier on. Overall high scoring wasn't so good, but he was slotting home the 180s. Do with a few now. 11 in the tournament. Michael Van Gerwen's at 8. It's always a surprise when you look at the, the big numbers he uh, seems to... Seems to put out. The crowd, you sense, willing an, an Anderson performance here. Always tremendously popular wherever he plays around the UK. It's unlucky. I'm not sure whether that was a, a bounce out or it went into the other dart. 20. He's not too wild about bending over to pick his darts no. up, is he? The treble puts this 136 under massive pressure. Well, let's see if he can put this one away. Well, it's not going to happen now. Van Gerwen then for the break of throw. 72, Chris. There's options, 48, 24. Another one of those tops. 18 darts and one leg at a double. Anderson massively needs this. Tops now. Yeah, well done. One apiece. And you hear again, underlining what I was saying, enthusiastic cheers from the crowd. They want him to perform here and make a match of it. Well, that was a huge bonus. A 20 dart leg on throw, and you get away with it against Michael Van Gerwen. Don't get too used to that, because it doesn't happen very often. Five to one shot in a two horse race, Gary Anderson. Michael Van Gerwen, four to one on. He was a great bet this morning, you know, at six to five on. Yeah, certainly, uh, after that display uh, this afternoon, but that six to five wasn't around, uh, well, five to six wasn't around long. No, well, he was four to five in the opening match for next Thursday's Premier League against Rob Cross. That didn't last long. <laughs> On the basis of what we've seen today, you would fancy Van Gerwen very heavily to win that one. 130 for 2 1. Can't be done this time. But Anderson, as you see, a long way back. 210. 44. Needs a 140 here, ideally. He started very well, Van Gerwen, but the last two legs have been indifferent. 100. 86 left, 12 darts thrown. 18-18 ball if he doesn't hit the treble. He's got a one. 
This isn't good. 45. Well, it's different Van Gerwen to the Van Gerwen who played Night James deck. Wade. Good dart. Tops. Was for the break of throw. Clipped the wire, didn't it? An audible click. Two at double 16. He's missed it again. One out of five on doubles. Double ten. Double five. Oh dear. They look back at this leg in about 20 minutes. He might be looking back at it right now. He's got to put it behind him. Only a hold of throw for Van Gerwen. And the first maximum of the match. Saw the usual kiss on the way in for little Ty from yeah. Gary and his partner Rachel, of course. 97. Ninety-nine. Quite at it, is he? No, not yet. Averaging 88. Put that in your notebook. 100. Anderson, averaging 86. Long day, isn't it? I mean, it's a, it's a question as to who lasts the better when we get to the final. You know, is Barney going to be able to put three matches together back to back on a day? It's a, it's a relevant question. Great dart from Anderson. Brilliant. Barney looked a little jaded in that match against Mensa, didn't he? At times. 85. So, all going with throw. Oh, Anderson, I'd like to have a break before this first little interlude, which we get at the end of this leg. Just a turn. Great chance for Anderson. Oh, yes, fill it up. 140. Far away. Michael chuntering away to himself. He's not having a, a great time of it at the moment. Well, I've seen again and again when Michael Van Gerwen does have a, a bad phase, a down phase in a match, you really need to jump on it because at any stage he's capable of cutting loose. Has to go. That's a good set up, isn't it? Should go ball. Yeah, 20 for ball. It's awkward. This Blocking him, good. isn't it? Yep. Blocking him. Oh, what a dart! What a dart that was! That was blocked, Chris. It really looked yep. as though he was finding it.